everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Mamie and this is Mamie's Journey where I take you guys along with me on my life's adventures and journeys. Guys, I am so excited to talk to you guys about face-to-face -face and how you guys can be successful in your face-to-face. -face. Now, right now, all, all the airlines pretty much are hiring like crazy or getting training back up and running because they are so incredibly short-staffed and including my airline and at least four others that I can think of mainline. And I know a ton of regional airlines are hiring right now as well. So this is the perfect time to talk about how you guys can be successful in your face-to-face -face interview. When I think back to my face-to-face -face interview, oh, it was such, it's such a huge memory that I will forever cherish because honestly, I could not have dreamed for it to be any better than it had went. It was something that I had worked so hard to get to, just like I'm sure any of you guys who are getting ready to go onto your guys' face-to-face, -face, if you're at that point, you guys have probably worked so incredibly hard to get to that point, and it is a huge accomplishment just to even make it that far. And so I was already so proud of myself, but getting into the mental like point to where you're like, I'm confident and ready to do this is so incredibly important. So I'm gonna give you guys some helpful tips on how to go in there and just nail it, just kill it, knock it out of the water. And the first thing is guys, remember to be true to yourself. And I know this might sound super cliche because everyone is like, be yourself, but no, genuinely, be yourself. Um, if you are being ingenuine or dishonest, it is very noticeable and <laughs> people can pick up on that. So just be yourself and be true to who you are. If you're a quirky individual, be quirky in the interview. Don't be super closed off and mean. I mean, unless I guess that's who you are, but people pick up on that. Um, make sure you're just being true to you because if you're not, they can definitely sense that and well, integrity and being true to you is one of the core values of being a flight attendant across all airlines. So make sure that you are doing that. The next thing that I would say, and I'm not trying to be shallow by any means, so please do not take what I'm saying the wrong way, but go in there and dress to impress. Guys, when I tell you this makes all the difference, I am not kidding, not only because you look good from the outside looking in, but because when you look good and you know you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you perform well. So I am definitely the type of person who when I know I look good or I know I put myself together very well that day, I just, I don't know, I'm walking on sunshine and like nobody can tell me nothing. So I'm instantly having a better day when I know like, I'm coming out to look good. I went to Zara. I got a whole new outfit. Um, if you guys want some outfit suggestions, I can do an entirely separate video on that. Um, but just come to impress. I can actually go ahead and insert some photos of how I dressed for my interview. Some short clips because I'm pretty sure I had some on, <laughs> on Instagram that day. But I got an entire suit, like a suit jacket, high-waisted, nice tailored pants, and a very nice black turtleneck, higher than this. This is more of like a, a mid-neck. I did a, a full-on turtleneck. Um, my suit was camel color. My whole thing, I thought in my head, was I don't want to look like everybody else. I want to stand out. And so I made sure whatever outfit I had was very professional, very put together, very clean, just like everybody else wants to look very clean, well put together, professional. But I wanted to stand out from everybody else. I didn't want to just be in a plain black suit, which is perfectly fine. If you guys are working within a budget, I can give you guys some tips, again, in a separate video of how to stand out um, with like basic all black pieces, if that's what you have. 
but I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a little bit of an investment in myself. I'm gonna buy a nice suit. I'm gonna spend a little bit of extra coin and make sure I'm coming correct so that they see me when I walk in. From the moment I walk in, they're like, I see you. Cause I wanted them to know I see them seeing me and I came to not play. I was getting a job or I was taking somebody's. <laughs> so I came in full camel suit. When I say camel suit, I mean I had a suit jacket, suit pants, black turtleneck, black pumps. I felt good. I performed good. So that's tip number two for you. Look good. <laughs> um, the next tip. Guys, when you go in there, please smile. I cannot tell you how many people I saw in there and sometimes it's nerves and I completely understand that. It's a completely nerve wracking experience to finally be going in for your final interview for something you've worked so hard for. And sometimes this is something people have been working on for years. I know people who have been trying to become a flight attendant for 20 years and they finally get their opportunity. And this is a huge moment for you, but do not get into your head. Do not psych yourself out because they want to see your personality shine through. They want to see you be able to socialize and smile. Guys, this smile goes a long way show your teeth well unfortunately underneath a mask you're still going to have to smile because it shows in your eyes even here from this to this you can see a difference if i'm smizing with my eyes you can tell if i'm not you see what i'm saying like make sure you guys are smiling smile the whole time be positive be chipper be cheery be inviting because that's the kind of personality and energy they're gonna want on a plane they don't want somebody who's just like bad attitude miss sour like don't do that i can actually think back to my interview process and there were people who were just very like closed off and shut down and i don't know if maybe it was they were in their head or that's just who they were but i'm telling you that's not what they're looking for guys <laughs> um they want people who look like they're warm and inviting and able to socially interact with other people so just bring that bring that energy get your coffee in the morning if you need to or your kombucha or your green tea or whatever it is that you need to come prepared and smile and which leads me into the next one. Guys, be prepared for a long day. Get some breakfast. I made the mistake of not eating breakfast that day and not realizing it was going to be a 10 hour day. It was incredibly long for my experience. It's not like that for everybody, but mine was a lot of people so it ended up going very very long and we didn't really have a lunch in between they did provide us with like snacks and water you know flight attendant snacks and stuff and goodies but if you are somebody who like needs food to function make sure you have a nice hearty breakfast in the morning and make sure that you get your tea or whatever it is that's going to push you through um the next thing i would say is bring water and stay hydrated there's going to be, and there should be, a lot of talking throughout your face-to-face. -face, and it's not just gonna be sitting down with one person. You are going to be interacting with so many different people. And so staying hydrated is super important. One, so you don't get lightheaded. And two, because it's just good for you. Three, you don't wanna get cotton mouth or dry mouth or just not be able to like fully converse with people. So make sure you drink a lot of water the night before and stay hydrated throughout the day. And one of the final things I will say, guys, is make sure, <laughs> I know I said um, be inviting and be warm and be open to like talking to people, but don't overshare. Um, <laughs> don't be the person who comes in and, well, one overshares and says, things that are not necessary to be said make sure you realize that yes you should be socializing and interacting with people and being friendly but remember and keep in mind while you are there do not overshare or say anything that is inappropriate or bad mouth a previous um, experience that you had a previous company a previous airline 
These are things you do not want to do um, because that says a lot about how you are going to internalize your experience with the current airline that you're trying to work for. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of um, trying to downplay their previous employer in order to highlight the current person that, or employer that they're trying to get with. And that's honestly a really bad look. So just make sure you're not doing that. Um, I did overhear a little bit of that happening during my face-to-face -face interview. And that is just not the route to go. So if you can, just don't say too much about your previous employer. If you are, or if they ask you, like, why did you leave your previous employer? Maybe say you have just outgrown it or give reasoning that isn't necessarily negative towards the previous employer, but just shows that you grew past your previous employer. Now, the final thing I will say is guys, <laughs> aside from oversharing, um, do not come in there and I, I said I know I said to be confident. Yes, come in there confident and ready to kick some tushy, but do not come in there thinking <laughs> you are just Miss or Mr. Know it all or on top of everybody else or above anybody else. Please come in there with a humble heart, open to learning, and realizing that you guys are all regardless of whether you have previous airline experience or not on the same level because you guys are all applying for the same job there probably will be other people there in your interview in your face-to-face -face interview um there were tons of people at mine like 50 something of us so you are going to be interacting with people who maybe don't have airline experience i had no airline experience when i was coming in there and so there were some things that were completely new to me um, but everyone was super nice and there are people who are going to have tons of airline experience or maybe they had 20 plus years of airline experience at a previous airline. Just make sure you're coming in there humbly though and not feeling like just because maybe you have prior experience or you come from a extensive background that you're better than anybody. Come in there just ready to learn and take whatever it is that they say with a grain of salt and or whatever anybody else has to say with a grain of salt and just move forward humbly and excited and grateful to even be there in the first place. Um, those are all of the tips that I have for your face-to-face -face interview, guys. Again, just go in there confident, ready to rock it, happy, and enjoy the experience. It's something like I've never experienced before in my entire life, and I absolutely enjoyed it. At the end of it, when I received my, my conditional job offer, my CJO, I was ecstatic. I was in shock. Everybody around me broke down and was in tears, and I literally was just sitting there like mouth open, just like, oh. And then tears started to flow and I just, it's an amazing experience to finally get that CJO. And um, if you guys get it, please reach out to me after seeing this video or if you guys see this video, if this has helped you at all, um, please do <laughs> let me know. I will be so happy for you. I'd be happy to celebrate with you virtually if you'd like. Um, and yes, like I said, my current employer is also hiring right now. So if you're interested in applying for them, go ahead and do that. I will leave a link down below on how you can research all of the airlines who are probably currently hiring at the moment. And I can't wait to talk to you guys and see you in my next video. Bye guys.